I'm joined live from Dublin by CRH Chief Executive Officer Miles Lee. Mr Lee, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. So you've said that earnings will fall this year. Why? Well, I think our first half uh, EBITDA declined by 20%, and we've indicated this morning that our full year expectation is for a decline of about 10% at EBITDA level. I think our businesses are primarily uh, located in Europe and, and in North America, and we're continuing to see tough uh, trading conditions uh, acro across those businesses, not quite as tough as what we saw in the first half of the year, uh, particularly in the first quarter. Uh, when we had to contend with a very severe winter both in North America and also in Northern Europe. We had positive rhetoric there from Sir Martin Sorrell, the Chief Executive Officer of WPP, said we're not going to fall back into a double-dip recession, but he seems to be going against what many policymakers and what the data is telling us. Do you think in your principal areas, your geographic regions, the US and Europe, that there is a risk we could go back into recession? I don't think there's a risk of going back into recession. Certainly the economic data out of Europe over the last couple of months has been more encouraging. But what we have seen, I suppose, is uh, some disappointment uh, coming from the US uh, through a stream of indicators which are indicating that the anticipated uh, pickup is not going to be quite as strong as was expected two to three months ago. But I think we're, economies are still moving forward, but particularly with regard to North America, not at the pace that was expected. And obviously, as a late cycle business in construction materials, uh, we you know, will be slower to pick up than other sectors, particularly, I think, compared to the advertising sector, which would probably tend to be an early indicator of recovery. What about the Irish economy? I mean, the, the, the bitter medicine has been taken, was taken before many other Eurozone nations, but it's continued to be taken. Has, our, has Ireland turned the, court, turned the corner? I mean, many still pointing to, to the banking industry, saying that this is a, a problem under which a line has not been drawn in the sand. Well, I think there's further work to be done in the uh, banking uh, shakeout and sort out here in Ireland. I think that's progressing uh, through the National Asset Management Agency. And we'll hope to see that obviously make good progress over the remainder of the year and to draw a line under that particular area. Uh, Ireland is a very small piece of our portfolio now. We're active in 35 countries worldwide, so it accounts for less than 5% of activity. And construction here is going through a rough patch, uh, and it will take some years uh, to recover. Uh, what we'd like to see, obviously, as a major player here in the construction industry, is some additional infrastructure stimulus from government, but that is obviously um, difficult to achieve with the budgetary constraints at the moment. But hopefully over the next couple of years, as we see the budgetary picture improve and there is some further medicine to be taken here, that there will be scope for that and then eventually we'll see the domestic residential and non-residential markets pick up. But it's going to be over an extended period. M&A is a big theme uh, this month uh, globally and you've paired spending on M&A in the first half to, I think I'm right in saying, to 133 million, uh, 13 acquisitions mostly in the US. Will you continue to make deals? How much money do you have to make deals and where will you make them? Well, I think we will continue to make deals. As you mentioned, we spent about 160 million in the first half of the year, and we've spent a year in the subsequent two months, we've spent another 90 million. So we're, our run rate is around 250 million. We're continuing to do deals. We signed off yesterday on a, a, a significant bolt on. Uh, business in concrete and aggregates uh, in Switzerland, which uh, is subject to competition uh, authority approval there, but we'd hope to see that coming through. And we'll continue to look to expand our businesses in, in North America, in Europe, and also uh, to increase our presence in emerging markets. And we have some positions in India and in China, uh, which we are keen also to add and okay. develop to over the next 12 to 18 months. And our capacity to spend is probably the order of one and a half billion over that period. Miles Lee. CRH Chief Executive Officer, thank you very much for, for joining us today.